video, I'll be teaching you about authoring assessment questions. If you plan on copying assessment questions from an external document into Accelerate, I would highly recommend being familiar with pasting to match style. I have included a link to a video detailing this in the video description. I have also already created my online quiz assessment task, so if you are yet to do this, I would suggest watching the previous video. To begin, navigate to the Assessments menu and press Assessment Management. I'm going to switch to the Drafts view and select the assessment task I wish to create questions for. Finally, press Open in Authoring in the top right. I'm now going to go ahead and create a new assessment question by clicking the Add Question button in the middle of the page. If you wish to separate your assessment task into sections, you can do so by the Add Section button at the bottom of the page. The online quiz can have multiple different question types, including single choice, multi choice, short answer, and gap text. We'll come back to these in a moment. The main text field here is the question given to learners. The question options found here apply to all four question types. Score allows you to customise the weighting of each question. An optional title will appear above the main text of the question. As always, if you are pasting the title into Accelerate from an external document, ensure you paste to match style. Finally, using the checkbox underneath, you can elect to provide assessor information specific to this question. I'm now going to go through the question types. Single choice questions have one correct answer from multiple options. Multi choice options have multiple correct answers from multiple options. All correct options must be selected in order to receive the points. To add choices for these types of questions, simply type into the blank fields provided, or press add option to add further options. You can select the correct answer by clicking the check boxes to the left. This button next to the words correct answers when enabled will randomize the order that the options appear to each learner. Short answer will require learners to type their answers and an assessor to give the answer a grade. You must provide a model answer and you may also create a marking scale. On screen now is an example marking scale that I've created. Gap text is simply a fill in the blanks type question. Type in your question into the field as normal. To add gaps in your text, click this button on the right of the formatting options. This will insert a gap object into the question. You can customise this gap object by clicking the three dots to the right of each gap. With this pop-up menu, you can input the correct solution. Specify a placeholder value, specify alternative correct solutions, and toggle whether the solution is case specific. Once you have finished creating your question, click Save Question. As you can see, the question is now minimised. To open it up again, simply click the question. There are some additional options displayed on the right when you mouse over each question, allowing you to update, duplicate or delete the question. You can move questions around by a drag and drop. To move sections, click the arrow icon next to the section title. I would also recommend regularly saving your assessment task via the button in the top right. You can preview the assessment task with this button here. To finish off, move this assessment task out of its draft state by choosing Publish. In summary, this video has demonstrated functionality of the assessments authoring page. I've outlined the differences between each type of assessment question, specifically for the online quiz. However, the learnings from this video apply to other assessment types as well. The next video will provide more in-depth assessment question tips, including formatting, adding media, links, and more.